What's going on everyone? Landor Alpha here and today is the day I'm going to take on Team Go Rocket and their leaders Arlo, Sierra, and Cliff. Now they found their way to the Pokemon Go world somehow and I hear Giovanni is also here as well so we're going to be taking a look and seeing what's going on with the special research we have related to this strange happening and see if we can track down these Team Go Rocket leaders out here. Also, it looks like the Team Go Rocket leaders have brought some surprises along with them. They have even more powerful Shadow Pokemon that they brought with them that we have to take down. I hear that they're very, very tough to take down, and I have assembled my teams of proper counters and their moves and have maxed them out as far as they can go. I don't know how many leaders we will be able to encounter in our time out here today in Pokemon Go, but we're at least going to try and do one, see if we can take them down, and see what Shadow Pokemon they end up dropping off for us and see if it's shiny because guess what yes that's right shadow shiny pokemon are now here in pokemon go not all of them by the way not all pokemon are available as shadow shinies we have confirmed that scyther meowth and sneasel are all available as shadow shinies so you have the potential to get a shadow shiny for one of the leaders when they leave a pokemon behind for us to encounter after they're defeated in battle so we're going to see what happens concerning that if we can get a shadow shiny today that'd be really awesome but I'm just wanting to encounter the leaders and see how those battles go here. They're very tough. So let's get out there and find some rocket stops to do and encounter Team Go Rocket. Because what we need in order to encounter the leaders, to find them out here in Pokemon Go, is we need a Go Rocket radar. And the only way to do that is to encounter Go Rocket grunts. And once you defeat one of them, you get a mysterious component from them. Once you finally get six components, you're able to assemble a rocket radar and track down where the leaders are located and you can use that uh, up until you finally defeat one and then you have to do it all over again you have to battle six more grunts to get the components to take on another leader so it's good until you finally defeat one so I am looking to do that right now there is a rocket stop near here at least there was one so I'm going to go check it out and take down that grunt and get my first component let's go do it lucky for me actually one of the stops right near me has turned into a go rocket stop so we're going to do that right now we're going to tap on it we should be in range of it there we go do a little spin there but let's rock and roll looks like it's going to be rock type pokemon we're about to encounter here so i'm going to just stick with uh this default group i have here should be enough to take care of that and hey it's larvitar look at that so we're going to take down larvitar and company really really quickly and then uh let's see if we can get one of those mysterious components there goes larvitar right there shadow pupitar going down really really quickly with this kyogre another pupitar okay i've not encountered one that has two pupitar in a row before down it goes i'm gonna have a chance to probably catch a shadow larvitar once i catch that larvae we're gonna take a look at what we're gonna pick up from here oh wait hold on wait a minute all right so here's the grunt at the end of the battle he's like yeah yeah that's right defeated you sir take that I won, here we go, 500 Stardust, and a Mysterious Component, oh. Looks like Candela has a message for us. You found a Mysterious Component, the Grunt dropped something while they were running scared. What are these used for? I bet this is what Team Go Rocket is using to hack the Pokestops. Hmm. We have to find more, time to battle some Grunts. All right, five more Grunts to go to get more of these components, so we're gonna collect that one right there and get five more. I'm at the next location for my next shadow Pokemon encounter at the rocket stop. And I just want to go over the research that we have for Looming Shadow. So I am on step one of six. I do have two out of three done, but we're gonna go over what they were anyway. One was catch a shadow Pokemon. That's the one at the bottom there. The top one was spin 10 Poke Stops. And then the middle one here, the one I have to finish, is defeat three Team Go Rocket Grunt. So we did one, we're working on number two. So let's go to that encounter right now, which is right here. Intruder spotted. All right, let's see what we're up against. Roar, how'd that sound? Okay, that might be an interesting one. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be. And we're up against Dratini. Okay, that's cool to get another shadow Dratini. I haven't picked one up in a while. There goes Flygon. Uh, Tyranitar's probably going to have a sit down right after this. Oh, yeah, with Dragonite for sure. Oh, man. Yep. Let's see if I can hit this. Excellent, excellent, please. Give me an excellent. I got an excellent. Sweet. And there goes Dragonite, thank goodness. 500 dust and component number two. So let's catch this one and move on to number three in this step, but we still need to do a total of four more uh, rocket grunts in order to get a radar to be able to track down the leader. Here we are at rocket stop number three, going into encounter right now. Normal does not mean weak, okay. This could be a Porygon. Oh yes, Porygon encounter, very good. 
Let's see if we can take down this Porygon real quick. I do have double moves on this Tyranitar. That Porygon is down. We have a Porygon 2. I'm gonna do Stone Edge on it. Crap, that's not good. That did not go as well as I had hoped. Probably means Porygon Z's at the end here for the last encounter. There's Porygon Z. I'm gonna do Crunch on this one. Oh, we did it. All right. We were able to do it with only Tarantar in there, which is really awesome. So we have a chance to get a Porygon. We also completed the three grunt battles that we needed for the research that we have coming up here. So we can move on to step two. Another mysterious component. It's number three. And I'm going to catch Porygon Z. I'll try to do it on camera for you guys. Since this is a different one, this is actually a new shadow Pokemon that's been added. So 627 weather boosted one. That's kind of neat. I'm going to try just to do it with a Pineapp. Might end up regretting. Ooh, a great toss on that. I'll take that. Hopefully that'll work for us in our favor. Now look at that. There we go. We have a Shadow Porygon. Let's see about those IVs. Maybe it'll be something really worthwhile to... Ooh! I might have a 100% Purified Porygon when I purify. I think I'm going to purify this one because I think this will be a hundo. Let's purify it. Purify the Porygon. Let's check it now. Appraise. Oh, yes! We got a 100% Porygon. That's awesome to get that from the first one. This is my first 100% Porygon ever, and it's purified. That's great, so I'm thinking I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm going to screenshot that. That's going to be a little bit of a flex. There's the screenshot. And let's get on to doing some more stops. Actually, before we get on to the other stops, let's check out this special research here. Here we go. Claim reward there. 500 XP, 500 XP, 500 XP. Now let's collect the 500 Stardust. 10 regular Pokeballs and the raspberries. Here we go. Thank you for your continued support against these pesky Team Go Rocket grunts. As they flee, some grunts are leaving behind mysterious components, we've noticed. I believe these are what Team Go Rocket is using to hack and steal resources from Pokestops. Clever little devices, aren't they? I think they are. There's information we can glean from these components that will help us in our fight against this dangerous organization. Once you have enough pieces, you should be able to assemble something similar to the device I've modified in my lab. It might be best to prepare yourself for what might come land or alpha. Here we go. Now this is why we can't go beyond step two today, because we have to spend a focus out five days in a row. We have to purify 15 shadow Pokemon, which shouldn't be too hard. And we have to win five raids. So that's going to take some time to do that. We're going to revisit the special research here once we get all of that completed. And uh, what we're going to do now is continue finding some more shadow stops to do. We need to do three more to assemble a rocket radar. And then we're going to find our first team leader to take on. All right, here we go for the last and final time I'm doing this one. Uh lost the uh, first two times and it's not good so we're going with all electric type this time this is probably what I should have done from the get-go all right done excellent there very good super effective against Lapras next we go with uh Polyrath here there we go all right now Gyarados here at the end let's try this one out here Ooh, very very nice effective hit right there very super effective and finally we've took this one down <laughs> It has been taken down now. We are very good. So that's going to be four out of six for us. I'm going to just catch this one off camera because my hands are cold. It's a Shadow Lapras. It looks amazing. I'll let you know if it's like really good. If it's not, then we won't even worry about it. Looking for more items in mind. Yeah, we know how it goes. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I got to take down little Dratini. Hey, Dratini, don't you be a meanie. Why don't you get out of the way so we can see the rest of the teamy? Yeah. How you like that? <laughs> Take it around town. There we go. Not very effective, but it still took out Dragonair anyway, which is what we wanted. So that was only a great that time. But it was still enough to take it down, so that works for me. There's another mysterious component, number five. Number six. We have found number six actually pretty close to where number five was. So let's see what we're going to be dealing with here. Go my super bug type. All right, bug type Pokemon it is. And we have one 500 dust and the sixth and final mysterious component that we need to assemble a rocket radar. That is now six mysterious components and we could fit them all together now. And let's combine them and make a, looks like you assembled a mysterious device, but what does it do? Let's equip it. And we can press that to see where the nearby leader is. So let's go take a look, fire up the radar. Great work fighting all those grunts, it was worth the effort. A rocket radar, Professor Willow said once it's equipped, you can intercept signals from Team Go Rocket. All right, cool. 
finally we can find these hideouts. Let's go take these punks out. Looks like we scared them all off. I want to try looking in a different area. I guess we have no choice but to do that. All right, to another area then. So we've actually found a Team Go Rocket leader, at least, yep, right up ahead. We're working on it right now, tracking them down. Yeah, we're going too fast, thank you. This Go Rocket leader, whomever it may be, we are on our way to track them down right now. Let's back out of the radar here. Here we are, coming up on the stop right here. It's one I've never spun before. I'm gonna go and attempt to get, hit this, and um, then I'm gonna come back to the car and we're gonna take on the Go Rocket leader. We have Cliff here. We have encountered Cliff. I finally was able to get in range of this place. It's kind of hard to hit, to be honest. He's like, ah, you want to fight? Pfft. Let's go, Cliff. You're nothing more than a weak distraction. Oh, snap. What? All right, we're going to battle, my dude. So we're going to be taking on Cliff in this encounter here. So let's rock and roll, baby. Cliff can shield. So the Go Rocket leaders can actually shield. So this is going to be the... The interesting part so we're gonna take on Meowth here first hoping for a shiny shadow Meowth after this that'd be really really cool if we can achieve that all right there we go took Meowth out without using our charge move which is great all right Snorlax time all right shadow ball let's go we may have to do a swap out here let's see with the how did well, that was only a great blocked okay he's shielded smart smart move my friend but that's one of two of your shields so here we go there we go excellent there we go Another shield. He used both his shields. Okay. You are shieldless, my friend. All right. Both his shields are gone, so he can't shield anymore. That did not do as much damage as I would have liked to have done. Let's try this one more time. I might do a, a switch out. Yeah, we're going to switch out, see if Reg Reggie can uh, do something a little better here. Come on, lock on. Focus blast. All right, here we go. I don't get to deal with this one as much. That's not going to... All right, that was super effective. Good. That's what we should have had from the get-go from the looks of it. All right, now for the final one, who are we going to bring up here? So Cliff is actually capable of pulling up a pool of Pokemon, and it looks like we dealt with uh, Meowth. Meowth is always going to be the first one. Um, we dealt with Snorlax as the second one, and Tarantar as the third one. That was only a great that time. That's like, oh, super effective though, perfect. If I could get another Focus Blast off here, I doubt it. Nope, not good enough. All right, Swampert, it's you, my friend. I know what to do next time if we have to repeat this. I actually am aware of where I made my mistakes. But if we're able to do it with just what we have here, then I'll take it. Super effective. Okay, we almost got this, guys. That's it. Got through Cliff on the first shot. I'll take that. Awesome. I thought that was going to be way harder than that. This actually wasn't too bad. You'll pay for this, said Cliff. Well, you lost, homeboy. Sorry. So we won our first ever Team Rocket battle against Cliff. We got a Unova Stone also out of it and a Max Potion. And 75 out of 100, we are three quarters of the way to a silver medal there for the hero badge. We're getting ready to encounter our shadow Pokemon. I am hoping that it's a shiny shadow Meowth. That'd be really cool. Um, if it isn't, that's fine. It'll be my first shadow Meowth anyway. Here it goes. You guys ready? No shiny. It's not shiny. It's just a regular shadow Meowth, but we did it, guys. We accomplished our goal for today. And that was to defeat a Team Go Rocket leader. And we did that. We took care of Cliff. We just need to find Arlo. We need to find Sierra. That'll be for another time. But we're going to do just this one today. And we got the Shadow Meowth. That's awesome. Also, I know I forgot to mention this at the beginning of this video but here it is now since i've remembered we are actually in the middle of the team go rocket disruption event it started thursday november 7th and it runs until thursday november 14th so uh we have boosted spawns in the wild not shiny rates but just spawns of ekans meowth and coughing and meowth is now the newest shiny pokemon to be added to the shiny family and of course the team go rocket themed pokemon will be in raids There'll be new shadow Pokemon such as Sandshrew, Bellsprout, Magnemite, Porygon, and Wobbuffet. We got the Porygon, so that was really awesome to get. Magnemite's going to be a really cool one to get. And then, of course, Team Go Rocket leader exclusive shadow Pokemon will be Meowth, Scyther, Sneasel, with all those having a potential to be shiny. And, of course, there's the new Meowth, Shiny Family, Meowth, and Persian. So, get out there, go do some Team Go Rocket stops and get some cool shadow Pokemon and maybe some shiny shadow Pokemon. The more interesting bit of news I believe that we have here is what I have pulled up here on Pokemon Go Hub's website, Lumi in the Shadows. They have a guide as to the research steps in that special research line there. We did step one, 
which is spin 10 Pokestops, uh, defeat three grunts, and catch one shadow Pokemon. Step two, we're on right now with spin Pokestop five days in a row, purify 15 shadow Pokemon, win five raids. We have two of five raids done. I haven't purified any shadow Pokemon. I'll do that off camera. Uh, and spin a Pokestop, that'll also be off camera. Raids might be included depending on how things go. Um, and step three, it's not known exactly what uh, steps there would be for here. He signs all his messages with G, so that's leading to Giovanni who we will have to encounter at the end of this research line. And the best part of all, we can keep redoing this research line once a month. So you can re encounter Giovanni once a month, and at the end, he drops off a Shadow Pokemon. Not just a Shadow Pokemon, a Shadow Legendary Pokemon for us to try and catch. So when we get there, I'll cover that. But right now, Giovanni is a little further away. Uh, from right now, we're going to attempt that later on, and it's gonna be a lot of fun to be able to encounter Giovanni with Shadow Legendary Pokemon. Of course, they are the Legendary Trio Birds, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. Until then, guys, it's been a lot of fun tracking down Go Rocket Sops, and finally, our first Team Go Rocket leader, Cliff. That's gonna do it for this vlog. Make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe, and make sure you ring that little bell notification icon next to the sub button to be notified next time I post or go live. I'll catch you guys next time.